Hello and welcome to Clark University. We are so excited to have you here and joining us in this fall. Uh, we are going to be going through the summer ch orientation checklist today, along with providing you some resources on connections you'll have from day one, starting here at Clark University when you come for orientation, some resources you can connect with, and a few tips and tricks on registration. Hopefully you've already started to go through this checklist, but we wanted to make sure that you are fully prepared and knowledgeable about each step of the, along the way. That way you are prepared to go through the summer and get everything done and be prepared for when you come here in August. The first thing we'd like to talk to you about is our community of care. Now, each student uh, coming as a first year student to Clark University will be connected with a series of staff members who will be personally supportive of anything and everything you may need here at Clark University to help be an independent and successful student and professional. So when you get to campus, from the moment you step foot here, you'll be having five different people who are in your corner. The first is the first year success advisor, also known as a FISA. A first year success advisor is a holistic advisor to support you in basically everything and anything here at Clark University. They can support you from academic questions as to best classes for your major, what next classes you should take, how to connect with your professors, and how to manage any extra support that you might need if you're struggling in class, to the extracurriculars on campus, how to connect you with the various departments and events and activities we host here at Clark University, as well as just help you through those tougher times if you're having any mental health or academic struggles and feel like you need a resource, they are there to help you through that whole process and make sure that you're connected to the supports and resources needed to make sure you get back on track and be as successful as possible. The first year success advisors will also be overseeing what are known as peer mentors. Peer mentors are students who have been Clark University students for at least a year and have taken on a leadership role to support you in navigating how to be a Clarkie here at university. So they can talk to you about the best tips and tricks on, from a student perspective on classes to what are the most fun events around Worcester to do and what are some great resources you can connect with. And getting to hear that from a student perspective can really be helpful. You'll also have an academic advisor. Based upon the first year intensive class that you will be registering for for your first semester, that professor is gonna be your academic advisor. They're there to help you with registration and connect you with other departments and staff members as well as faculty around campus as needed. In conjunction with these three roles, we also have our resident advisors, RAs, who will help you with any housing or dorm style questions you may have, as well as hosting various events throughout the year. And they're supervised by community directors who oversee each of the dorm halls. As you go through this process, just make sure you know that from day one, you have all five of these roles there to support you right away and are able to help connect you to the many other supports and resources we have here on campus. So let's get into the summer checklist. Now, an important first step that you really should take if you haven't taken already is setting up your Clark email. Uh, you should be using your Clark email at least once a day as most communication through Clark from staff to faculty to the university itself will come to you through email. If you want to avoid any issues or problems that arise in the future, it's always good to have this email prepared. So make sure you book it on your laptop, set it up on your phone, and start checking it once a day, getting into that habit. That way you'll make sure that nothing gets by you and that you're on top of your game going forward. As we go through the checklist, please make sure to note that all this will be on the orientation undergraduate to-do list as well. Uh, so please feel free to check this out if you haven't done so already. So getting into the Clark checklist, let's go through some things that are already past due just to make sure you know what they were about. So due May 31st, of course, this is past deadline. You'll have activated your Clark account. Please make sure to have downloaded it, your health forms and reviewed the vaccine requirements. We all know that it can take a while for you to get an appointment with a doctor's office. So it's best to make sure you have all this paperwork set and ready as soon as possible. And if not, make sure you have connections with your doctor's office early and those appointments set up as early as possible 
to make sure they're not holding you back from being able to start your college career. If you are a student of color, we do host ASIN Connections pre-orientation programs. Uh, this is a three-week additional orientation program to support students of color in developing a community here at Clark. This deadline has passed, but please feel free to still check out the ASIN Connections Department, uh, also known as ICEA, to see what supports and resources they may have for you in case you missed out on this opportunity. Additionally, it is, we have passed the deadline for the Strategic Leadership Services Program, SLS. This is a one-on-one -on -one tutoring support services that students can apply for. Although we are past the deadline for starting in the fall, it is never too late to check in with them and see if you can get additional help as you get into the semester or going into the spring semester. On to June 9th. On June 9th, the housing request form and meal plan were due. If you have not done this yet, please do so right away. Uh, this is to make sure that you get the best chance to get into the housing and with roommates that match your personality type, as well as a meal plan that is set for your style. It was also past the deadline to register with Student Accessibility Services to be able to get accommodations, and including things such as early registration going into the fall semester. However, if you are a student with a physical or mental health disability that could require additional accommodations, please feel free to still reach out to the SAS office as soon as you can. It is always better to reach out early and get connected with them before issues arise. Additionally, please complete the mathematics placement test. Even if you are not deciding to take a math test or a math class in the fall semester, it is always good to see where you would be placed in case you need to retake the test for, to get into a class that is required for you or your degree. Finally, on June 9th, we released our advising tutorial, which walks you through each step of the registration process, as well as the, all the how-tos and what-ars of the registration process, including what is a PLS class, what is an FYI class, and what are the best tips and tricks on how to read the course catalog. Additionally, the advisor information form was released on June 9th, this is due June 27th, though we recommend you do it as early as possible. And this form will help your first year success advisor and your summer advisor throughout the year to be able to register you for the classes that are the best fit for you. And it will be able to help the first year success advisors get to know you in a little bit more detail so they can support you when you come in the fall connecting to the resources and connections that you would like to make. Upcoming deadlines. So on June 27th, we do have the due date of the submitting the health forms to health services. Please make sure you do this as soon as possible. You'll confirm or waive your health insurance. Clark does offer health insurance for all of our students, but in case you have a better plan through your parents and guardians, it is important to waive that health insurance. You'll upload a photo for your Clark One card. This one card is how you swipe into your dorms, to the cafeteria, and to any of our buildings after hours. So make sure you pick a good picture of yourself. And finally, by June 27th, please make sure you schedule a meeting with your first year success advisor or summer advisor to register for classes in this summer. Early registration will begin on June 20th for any students who are working with SAS and have early registration status or with our fall athletes and all other students will be able to start setting up those registration meetings on July 10th. Due July 27th, you will set up your Clark Engage profile. Engage is how we advertise all of our events and activities here on campus. So if you wanna make sure you're seeing the events and activities that apply best to you, make sure you set a profile that matches those settings for yourself. For example, if you're really into the arts, make sure more artsy events and activities are popping up on your page as compared to others. You'll also set up your emergency contact, whether that's a parent or guardian or otherwise, to make sure we know who to contact in case if something happens. By July 27th, you'll also know where, what dorm you're in and who your roommates are. Once you know that, please make sure if you want to have a microwave in your dorm room to order your micro fridge. A micro fridge is a three-in-one microwave fridge and freezer that you can have in your dorm room, and it is the only way to have a microwave in the dorms. At this time, you'll submit your final high school transcript. If you are an international student,
please make sure to submit your arrival doc documents by this time. If you are having any questions about what documentation you need or other forms that you might need to fill out prior to coming to Clark, please make sure to check out the ISSO website, which launch leads all of those files and tells you all the forms you'll need in detail and can connect you to staff in case you need extra support. For those of you who are interested in doing a on-campus job, whether that's a work-study position or otherwise, please make sure to begin your on-campus job search in July. By the time you get to campus and you just start your job search, it might be too late for many of the jobs as many will already have been filled. So if you begin your process in July, this will help you get opportunities to the best jobs for you. If you have any questions about the campus job search process, please feel free to reach out to our Career Connection Center where they can help you with resumes, job searching, cover letters, and anything in between. By July 27th, you'll also be able to access your bill online and complete all the Stafford loan requirements through your Clarkey page. Getting to the end of the checklist, due in August, by August 11th, please make sure you set up a refund profile. You don't you want to pay your bill for the fall semester, please do not wait to pay that bill. The earlier you can, the better, because if you have any issues paying your bill, it is always good to reach out to us for help through our financial aid office or our student accounts office. And the earlier you reach out, the more support we can give you. And finally, you'll be completing the orientation requirements by this deadline. These are all of the policies and procedures we have on campus. So you would go through these modules, which include videos and information about our policies, as well as situations to help you understand what you're getting into and what you're agreeing to in full before coming to campus. These include the academic integrity module, the student code of conduct module, and the get inclusive online module. You'll also be completing a higher education research institute survey which helps us get to know what your needs are before coming to campus and provide the right resources and supports for you. And finally, download the Cork app so you can access the full orientation schedule in mid-August. The Cork app is also where you will have your own personalized QR code to help sign into many of these events here on campus. Now that the, we've finished talking about the checklist, let's talk about class registration as that is coming up in the next few weeks. First, we want to remind you of FERPA. FERPA is a federal regulation that unless you waive or sign off that your parents or guardians can be informed about your grades and other activities here on campus, it prevents all staff from being able to communicate with your parents and guardians. So please make sure to waive this and sign off on it as soon as you can. We already talked about filling out the advising form and registering for your advising meeting as early as possible. Please make sure to submit any AP, so any advanced standing scores, transcript scores, and dual enrollment tests uh, and transcripts as soon as possible. If you are unable to send these in before your registration meeting, please make sure to let your advisor know that you, score, you took a test and you scored high enough to get a past grade that would apply for credit. This will make sure that we don't set you into a class that you already have credit for. And a couple best practices to just think of as you're going through this. Again, please fill out, go through that advising tutorial. This will go in full detail of every single step. But a couple other things you should know is focusing on exploration. Whether you know exactly the major you wanna do or have no clue whatsoever, it is always important to take your first semester or first year to really explore out what are the opportunities you have in front of you. This way, you don't do too many classes in one major and then realize you don't like that major after all, or it makes sure that you at least can connect to majors that you're thinking about and decide if it's the best fit for you. Additionally, this exploration can include all of your PLS classes that you'll need to take, so you can start looking into what other PLS classes you can take. So remember, you have four classes through each semester. Our recommendation is about two classes in your degree interest and two PLS classes for your first semester. That will give you a nice broad view of the class system. Additionally, please make sure to try and avoid looking at the 200 level or above classes, as these are higher and more advanced classes for students, often more prepared for students who know what they are getting into into a college class. We recommend to look at the 100 levels and below, as this will create less stress and less 
in, uh, intense workloads for you, at least in your first semester. Additionally, please try and spread out your schedule. It may be interesting to try and fill all of your classes on two days of the week, but that can be very overwhelming and lead to a lot of students feeling crashed by the amount of work they have to do on those classes. Our recommendation is to have at least one to two classes each day of the week and try and spread them out as best you can. This way you get a nice balanced schedule where you can breathe and take part in other activities while also getting into a good routine throughout the week. If you have any additional questions on class registration before you have your registration meeting, please feel free to reach out to us or check out that advising tutorial again. We will also be hosting a webinar on June 20th that will talk through the advising process. One last thing we'd like to really make sure you know of is our resources on campus. We did already talk about SAS and SLS early in this presentation, and as you will get to know, Clark loves our acronym, so please get to know these acronyms as quickly as possible so you know what we're talking about throughout the year. Additional resources you should think about is our Center for Counseling and Personal Growth, CPG. We provide free mental health counseling to all of our students, so if you, that is something you feel like you might need, or something that you may want to know about because of wanting to be prepared for mental health crises for you or your friends and other peers, please know what the CPG provides and how to get in touch with them. Additionally, please make sure you know how to connect with our health services department in case you ever have an injury or have issues with your doctor's forms. Our Department on Student Leadership and Programming, also known as SLP, oversees all of our student clubs, our student government, and all of the fun student events we host on campus. So if you are an outgoing, extroverted style student who really wants to be involved in a lot of things, please make sure to get to know the SLP office. We also have the Office of Identity, Student Engagement, and Access, ICEA. This office supports all of our students of color, our first generation students, and our students in the LGBTQIA um, community. This is a great department to get to connect with as they can support your connection with your fellow community members who share your similar backgrounds, as well as help provide workshops and other types of resources for everyone on campus to, so that we can be a more inclusive community. The Academic Advising Center will be reviewing all of your transcripts as well as all of your advanced test scores and any other dual enrollment transcripts that may be sent into the campus. If you have any questions on how to send those in or what the grades will apply to for which classes, this is the center to look into. They also provide quite a bit of support for students going through uh, their four years here at Clark and doing such things as creating their own major. So if that's something you're interested in, please check them out as soon as you can. Student Success supports all of our students who may be struggling academically as they connect you with resources and a, provide in, more intensive support to be able to make sure you feel successful in your classroom. The ISSO, International Students and Scholars Office, supports all of our students from across the world coming here. So they help with forms, they help with documentation, and they help create a community of students who may be further from home than some of us are. And finally, the Academic Support Center is a great resource to check out as they provide all of our tutoring support services from the math tutors to peer tutors to our writing center and can be a great resource even if you don't feel like you're struggling as of yet in class to be able to connect and make sure you're handling your academic challenges successfully. If you have any questions about some of this checklist, please feel free to check out our webinars that we've been hosting. We hosted one on May 17th, all about housing, uh, that we do have a video on the orientation website. Upcoming ones are on June 20th, which will be all about registration and advising. Uh, we will also be posting that video the next day. And finally, on July 31st, a last webinar to be able to run through any last minute questions or concerns that are happening to make sure you are prepared for coming to orientation in August. If you have any questions, please make sure to follow us on the Clark U orientation page at, on our Instagram account, as well as email us at orientation at clarku.edu 
for any questions that are specific to your situation or just for general extra knowledge beyond this presentation. We thank you for joining us today. We hope you had all of your questions answered and we look forward to seeing you for registration and orientation in August.